Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make integration between Salesforce and QuickBooks. Uh, first things first, we have to create ourselves an account at salesforce.com and uh, or basically log into your existing account. So how we're going to make this integration quite fast and without any uh, without any problems. We can use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, as you can see, let's go to the top corner and uh, straight away to integration. We can hover over the integration uh, or click on the integration button. Once this pop-up window show up, we want to go to the bottom left part and see all categories. Now uh, we have to find uh, Salesforce. You can see it's right here or just right down Salesforce. Now we have to pick the opposite side, which will be, sorry, QuickBooks like this. And as you can see, there's already some pre-made uh, popular integrations between those two. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, let's scroll down to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to start with Salesforce. As you can see, there's a couple of options you can choose from, but I'm going to stick with the first one. On the other hand, uh, on underneath the actions, you should go with QuickBooks. So let's go with the first one as well. Now we have to just hit try it now button. We get redirected to login page and we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com. Uh, we have to also create an account at Zapier. Uh, and once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and click on create a Zap. Now we can uh, name your Zap for like future research or if you want to get back to this integration. Uh, but let's go back to uh, let's get back to it. So first, underneath the trigger, we want to start also with Salesforce. Those two, uh, I mean Salesforce, I mean, sorry, Automate and Zapier are quite similar. Uh, we also will, we are, uh, also are starting with a trigger, which is Salesforce trigger event. Stick to the first one, continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created before. Continue. And uh, now we are going to pick a Salesforce object. There's like tons of them. So be careful why, while picking the one that you need. I'm going with account. Continue. And now we have to, we can try and set up or test our trigger. Underneath the actions, uh, we want to go and start writing down QuickBooks like this. We also have to create ourselves uh, an event. We have more options than at Automate. We hit continue and now we have to just to sign in to QuickBooks. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.